Hey, Big Brother fans, we have got live feed spoilers on who won head of household for week four, who they plan to nominate, and what happens if and when Quinn plays his deepfake HOH upgrade. But first, please subscribe if you have not already. Okay, so heading into week four, we had several people salty and one big house target, and Quinn did say he plans to use the deepfake HOH no matter who won head of household because he needs to keep himself off the block. So he wasn't gunning for a win in the comp because he had the power he needed anyway. And in the end, it was Angela who won her second HOH, which is pretty impressive. I'm assuming it was not a physical comp because she's not exactly an athlete. If it were, you know, Tucker would probably be sitting in the boss room. And this is Angela's Second HOH win. She's the only repeat winner, but then again, we're early in the season, you know, and with it being week four, she's won half of the head of household comps thus far. That's kind of impressive, you know? And since she won, Quinn has made it clear that he planned to take over her HOH with his power that is not secret at all. In fact, as seen on the live feeds, despite Tucker targeting him, you know, Quinn survived the eviction told everybody he'd use it, and now everybody knows. He apologized for keeping it secret. He plans to wield it. Most people said, you know, they got it. They might have kept it secret, too. There's only a few people that are still being butthurt about it. And, of course, Tucker is the first name on Quinn's list of targets, along with Mackenzie, now that her power has been used and a lot of people seem to want her to go. And, of course, Angela, because she's unhinged and keeps making scenes and making people uncomfortable. But Quinn now has to rethink his deepfake plans because Angela won head of household. And now Quinn pivoted and he is looking at Rubina as a possible target because she's showmancing with Tucker and he's worried if she played and won the power of veto, she would pull him off the block when Tucker is the one that Quinn wants to go home. If you do keep up with the live feeds, you probably already know why Tucker is top of Quinn's target list. You know, he made a big to-do last week trying to get him out, and he, it didn't work. And so now Tucker's going to have to pay the piper. In fact, Cedric seems to be cheering this nomination because Tucker promised he was coming after him when Cedric kept Quinn off the block. So on the live feeds last night, after the live eviction and Angela winning the HOH comp, Quinn went to see her to talk about who she planned to nominate so they could kind of coordinate. He wanted her input on two of his three nominations because he already has one firm target. And Angela said she was still thinking about who she wanted to put on the block, but Quinn told her flat out, I'm nominating Tucker. She put him off and said she'd let him know Friday morning who she wanted to nominate. But so far, I've not heard what names Angela was planning to nominate. Already this morning in Big Brother time, though, Quinn was called into the DR to make his deep fake noms. So I think they were trying to set it up where he had to make his nominations without knowing who Angela was nominating. So we will be back here later with the official results. We are hoping that the feeds reveal to us who Angela nominated and not just who Quinn put on the block with his deep fake power. You know, they've been cutting off the feeds very strategically to deprive live feeders of information that we're all paying to see. But that's what Big Brother's doing. That's more of expect the expected, I guess. I'm sure on the edited show on Sunday, we will hear who Angela did nominate. But we were kind of laughing and discussing how it's going to happen. If it were a secret power, then it might have been really good TV, you know, because Angela wouldn't have known that Quinn had it. She would have walked out with her you know, nomination box or however we're going to do it. And then, you know, the nominations would come up like they were hers and we would have seen shock face and I didn't do that and da, 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 da. And the way this has come out is that it's just going to be kind of a big nothing burger when it was supposed to be a twist. And, you know, that's a lesson learned. If you ever wind up in the Big Brother house, don't tell anybody about your secret power. We've seen it blow up in people's faces year after year, and people just love to talk, I guess, when you're in there with nothing else to do. 
So stay tuned for more Big Brother news right here. We're going to let you know who is on the block in week four later today. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.